here and welcome back to another episode of the Evotech SMP here on the Inglor channel. Today we have a very special court case that we have been waiting to do for so long and it's finally here guys. Uh, so today I get to be a an honorable justice. I should probably put my actual justice robe on. There we go. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy the episode and I will see you at the end for some chaotic potato openings. All rise. Honorable uh, Justice Stu presiding. Justice Mblor, sorry, okay. <clears throat> All right, uh, this is the case of uh, Stick versus Same Incorporated. Um, all right, can we, uh, let's see uh, uh, the can we have the, the plaintiff uh, call their first witness or make opening statements? Make opening statements, yeah. <clears throat> there you go. <clears throat> Imagine that you just wanted to have a simple day on the server. Imagine that you wanted to build something that you were proud of. Imagine that after hours and hours of work, it was almost finished. It was almost ready to show off to your friends. And then imagine that some individual or individuals came into that thing that you were proud of that wasn't even done yet and made a mockery of it. Imagine that they came in and disgraced its name before it could even open its doors. That is what Same Incorporated did to my client, Stickman Ninja. He built Danky Dunes, and before it could even be finished, they came in and they slandered it, they made fun of it, they damaged its property, and they attempted to close its doors through illegal means. He deserves justice, people of Evotech. He deserves what he should have gotten to begin with. Hey. Damn. Alright, uh, Shrumi, your opening statements. Alright. In this case, you're about to see exactly, exactly how big a, a hypocrite this fellow here is. That is all. Oh, well, all right. Uh, Hawk, you can uh, present your case. I'm not all sure right. if you want to call a witness or, or what you want to do. but Well, uh, the prosecution will be opening with the statements of Stickman Ninja, telling his side of the story first. All right. So. Is this thing on? Yes, Hello? yes, it's on. Yes, I, All right. yeah, we hear you. Um, so, uh, as you know, I am the, the owner and representation of Dinky Dunes, the, the business that I was uh, building currently at the time of uh, for serving customers much like yourselves on the server. And um, Sam Incorporated uh, came along one day uh, while I was off doing other duties that I'm required to do. And uh, they, they placed yellow and black wolf surrounding my building, put down a, a book, uh, and said that it was, it was, I was paying my, cus my employees dirt. They, they claimed that I was feeding rotten flesh at my services, which I haven't even opened yet. They, they had many health and safety regulations and things and saying that they were accusing me of doing things that I had never done. Um, slandering my good name and my business's good name and it just requires justice, Your Honor. Alright, uh, that'll be all, thank you. Well, it, Your Honor, I haven't dismissed my witness. Oh, alright, yeah, 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 sorry, go ahead. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Ninja, would you recognize this? Yes, this is the, uh, book that was left by, I believe it'd be Shroomy, a representation of Sam Incorporated. All right. Uh, could I have that back, Mr. Ninja? The prosecution would like to bring the H&S violation into evidence. Is it right. A? Yes. Uh, establishment. All right. Yes, understood. Now, you'll note, people of Evotech and Your Honorable Justice, uh, that there is no authority granted to same corporation by any means to issue such violations and 
accusations and that by placing this door in a lectern directly outside of the business of Danky Dunes, they were informing the public of things that simply weren't true, thus conducting libel or written slander against the corporation. All right. I dismiss the witness. Um, well, I, I do want to uh, redirect to uh, the defense here. Um, if you would like to cross-examine the witness. I would not, Your Honor. All right. Um, next. Well, the prosecution would also like to point to the actions of Shroomy GP and other members of same corporation during the acts of live streams, uh, which may have been referenced by the community at any time to note that they were running around. Becca, Becca, I'm in the middle the of a recording. <laughs> you didn't knock or anything. Oh, well, you You're calling yourself to Detective Nasty? Oh my god. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna scream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. The actions of Shroomy GP and other members of same on live stream, uh, making accusations, similar slanders. The actions of Kanaz online pretending to be a uh, member of Janky Dunes, misrepresenting its employment staff, and thus, and later, admitting to misrepresenting it and not truly being an employee. Uh, these are all listed in our court order that was issued to same incorporation prior to the date of this court right. uh, as well as in our asking order to the court uh, finally we'd like to bring to the attention of the court uh, the accusations that thank you dunes pays its employees in dirt uh, which was yet again a misrepresentation of the members of same incorporation as we are going to call ej monkey to the stand oh all right Mr. Monkey, did you ever claim to be paid in dirt? Uh, yes. However, it was in jokes. But you did claim memes. to be paid in dirt, which was a lie that was later perpetuated by other members of same incorporation to claim that the employees of Danky Dune are all paid in dirt. But you never were an employee well, actually, of Danky Dune, so were you, Mr. It Monkey? Was, it was intended to be, like, it was A simple yes or no will suffice, joke. Mr. Monkey. Were you ever... An employee of Thank You Dunes. No, I don't remember. Thank think you. So. No further questions, Your Honor. All right. Uh, defense, would you like to cross examine the witness? Glad to, Your Honor. Mr. Monkey, would you say that you asked the prosecution to pay you in dirt? Yes, after this whole debacle went down. Before. I don't remember. <laughs> Let's see. Would you consider dirt to be of a valuable resource? Oh, yes. All right. Objection, Your Honor. The value of dirt to this witness has no place in this courtroom as it has no relation to the actions of the plaintiff, Mr. Ninja. <sighs> Sustained. I, I want to see where he's going with this. That would be overruled. No, it's sustained. Wait, sustain no, oh, not nah. <laughs> sustained. Wait, for me has to stop questioning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, overruled. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I got them switched. Okay, yeah, we're good. Professionals. Yeah, yeah, we're we're professional uh, justices <laughs> out here. All right, overruled, overruled. All right, if Mr. Monkey claims it as a valuable resource to him, then I will pardon. I will acknowledge that he wants it, and I will remove that statement. I am sorry, I said that. He apparently values his dirt, so I withdraw my quote-unquote complaint on that matter. All right. Yeah, okay, very good. I, I have no further use for this guy. We dismiss the witness, but oh. we do not accept the withdrawal of the complaint as the issuing of the statement that Danky Dunes pays their employees in dirt is still harmful to their reputation and thus counts as slander. Yeah, I, I, would, I would agree to that. Uh, would you like if to... I may ask real quick, has there been actual proof that have paying your employees in dirt has caused any damage to the reputation of Thank You Dunes? Have you had any more or any less? Your Honor, I've toughness? asked that the, the court uh, cite uh, Mr. Shroomy GP for interruption of services 
uh, and he'd be fined uh, because he's speaking during time that is not his own. Shrimi, I uh, I would like you to uh, <laughs> use your own uh, time during court to to make your case. My apologies, Your Honor. I thought it was still my time. Nope. All right. <clears throat> prosecution. Do you have any more witnesses to call? Uh, no, Your Honor. The prosecution rests. All right. Uh, defense can call any witness that you prefer, or uh, simply make a statement. I'm not sure what you would like to do. Yes, I have many things to clarify with the prosecution. First of all, uh, in the book that you have given to me, you mentioned that I opened the chests. Uh, is there anything wrong with that if I did not steal anything from said chests? Uh, Your Honor, in response, the uh, plaintiff would like to note that those chests were not ever notated as being open to be opened by the public. So there could have been secret information or projects inside of them that could have been discovered by going through them, rifling through them, personal possessions of Mr. Ninja. Uh, yes, I would like to point out that uh, Mr. Ninja does also have a, a known secret project, uh, so opening chests could be exposing that, that project. Very well. I wasn't trying to get any information out of it anyway. Right. <sighs> as far as trespassing on Denki Dunes facilities when they were not open. I'd like to point out that both the, def the prosecution and the council both entered the facility of Sam Incorporated while it itself was not open to place down the documents. Uh, as I recall, and I actually attended the... Uh, are, you, are you referring to the court order? Yes. Uh, no, I'm referring to the first set of documents. I don't know if that would be the court order or not. The prosecution would like to respond that the bottom floor of Sam Corporation actually is open for business, as there is a secretary that sits at the desk down there and greets people when they come in. I would like to counter that argument by the fact that that happened recently, and at the time of you two placing your documents in Sam Incorporated Tower, there was no secretary. The prosecution would like to counter with, I was invited into same tower the day before we placed those documents there. The day before does not include the same day where there was no member of same incorporated on the server to excuse you into there. The prosecution would also like to note that the actual facility of same incorporated with any personal possessions was not entered and rather it was simply through the front door. I would like I mean, to clarify the uh, documents you're referring to. Oh, yes. Uh, the prosecution would be open to entering the book that Shroomy GP is holding into evidence as Exhibit B. Uh, could you bring well, that up here? I currently do not have it, Your Honor. I'd be happy to go grab a copy, Your Honor, but it would take a while. <laughs> it's... All right, we can take a brief recess while you fetch the book. All right, I'll go grab a copy. Okay. Oh, God, I forgot this is 26 pages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I come through it all yesterday, Your Honor. Okay, well... It's basically listing out all the, um... Alright. Um... Uh, Alright, so, so those were... I'd like to just, uh, reiterate. So these books were, uh, like, placed inside of Sam Immediately inside the front door. Immediately uh, it's still inside. Your Honor, our choice was to leave them outside where anyone could see them, which could have been constituted as an act of libel against Sam Incorporated because the accusations had not been cleared in court, or place them inside where only members of Sam Incorporated would come across them. Now, as found in many previous cases in other courts, uh, it is more respectable and it has been commanded by the court that documents of this importance should be placed either inside of the mailbox, which Sam Incorporated does not have one of, or inside the facility itself. All right, I don't need a history lesson. I'm going to let the defense carry on with this case. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, I was just holding the prosecution to the same logic that they held me to. Anyway. Uh, as far as misrepresentation of employee behavior, uh, you're probably going to have to take that up with Kat because I did not tell her to act in such a way. It just happened. Um, walk repayment we've already been through. Okay. H&S report without authority. I mean, 
I was willing to just step in as a health and service administrator because I think that the server could use one of those. Um, but that aside, who gave you authority, Mr. Miner, to actually go ahead and be lawyer and notary of the Avotech people? You the may have. The prosecution would like to enter into evidence the notary document of the courthouse. Yes, as found okay. here yes. beside the justice. All right. Exhibit yeah, D. If I may, Thank I was you. not finished yet. Yeah, can, can you please not interrupt the defense? Thank you. Yes, thank you. All right, go ahead. Um, yes. Well, you may have had our honorable Judge Stewart here to sign all of these documents. You made yourself self-appointed lawyer and notary long before you had him sign these things. And I just want to know, who gave you the authority to do such a thing? You? If I may reply, Your Honor. Yes. Uh, the documents were not issued to same incorporation as notarized by me until after Justice Mbloor had given me the power of notary, which means that the documents were actually signed under the authority of Justice Mbloor. That's not really my point. Uh, can you clarify then? No one of us three heads of Evotech gave him the excuse to become a lawyer. He just did it of his own volition and had you sign all the documents needed. He self-appointed himself as lawyer and notary of the people when we gave him no such authority to do so. And I don't see the issue with that. Really? I mean, if, if approved, I mean, if it was his idea but was approved by a, a uh, leader, a justice, then uh, I don't see the issue as to why he would have that, why he wouldn't have that role. I guess. I see. Uh, I mean, it it make I, in my opinion, it makes no difference as to being our idea to have him as a lawyer or his. Right. All right. You can <sighs> carry on. All right. Well, I honestly didn't expect you to side with him, so I just, I guess I have nothing further to say on the subject. Alright, so you are, the defense is resting then. Indeed. Alright, um... Alright, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll take a brief recess. I'm going to just look over everything and, uh, make my final decision. What, Your Honor, what about closing statements? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry. Yes, my apologies. Closing statements from uh, the prosecution, please. Uh, if we could have Exhibit B back, Your Honor. Um, remind me what that is. It's the Denki Dunes file. Yep, there you go. <clears throat> Order in the court. Can we not have the courtroom dance, please? Thank you. I don't gavel back at me! <laughs> Alright, sorry, continue. As you heard at the beginning of this trial, same incorporated as represented by Shroomy GP in this trial, misrepresented Danky Dunes, slandered it, libeled it, allowed members of his corporation to infiltrate its facilities and pretend to be employees, accused Danky Dunes of paying their employees in dirt, all of this harmed Danky Dunes' representation, its reputation, and its future. And so, as the prosecution in today's case, we're asking for rather low costs and payment in return. We're asking for four diamonds for the charges of trespassing and the invasion of the privacy of Mr. Ninja when Shroomy went through all of his chests and risked exposing his secret projects. We're asking for 16 diamonds for the various charges of slander, libel, and misrepresentation. And we're asking for a public apology to be viewed or heard by no less than six individuals, including all of the representatives of the plaintiff, meaning me and Mr. Ninja. We're also asking that 12 diamonds be paid to the court by Mr. Shroomy GP and Same Incorporation because of the services needed to be held here today, requiring the presence of all these individuals and the construction of this courthouse itself. Uh, I'm sorry. Diamond. I don't mean to interrupt you, but uh, could you please go over that last statement about the 12 diamonds? Because I'm not sure that you stated that correctly. Yes, we're, we're asking for 12 diamonds to be paid in fine to the courthouse. 
the courthouse uh, and same incorporated because that's no what no you no said. shroomy gp and same incorporated would be paying to the courthouse okay all right continue yes, yes. those 12 diamonds would just go into effectively a small pot fund for the courthouse for any necessary payments to the justices uh, or reconstruction of new facilities. Hmm. Thank you. All right, uh, closing statements from the defense, please. The honor, I have nothing to say except I will gladly pay the fee to the courthouse, but it'll be hard to pay these people who are hypocrites who mask themselves behind such fancy court words and such. Thank you. All right. Um, as I said before, uh, I will be um, taking a moment to just review everything and uh, going over them. If I could get uh, Exhibit B back, please. Thank you. Um, we will take a quick recess. And then I will return shortly with the final um, final decision. I have decided to go over this stuff with uh, you guys. I think I already have my decision, but I'm going to just go over it really quick. Um, we don't need the notarization. We know that I am an appointed justice and that Hawk is an appointed lawyer. So I don't think that's going to come into play. I do want to look over some of this stuff here. Okay, trespassing. I don't believe that we have any sort of law that dictates if someone is trespassing on another person's property unless they are looking through their chests or stealing things. That is just sort of implied law. However, if someone is to just come onto the property, we don't have an issue with that. So for that reason, I think I'm going to uh, have that reward be lower. It was asked of Four diamonds charges of trespassing and invasion of privacy. So I think the trespassing charge is not um, is not accurate. Uh, so I'm going to remove that, and so it'll just be two diamonds that he has to pay. Sixteen, maybe a little much because he doesn't make too much from Dinky Dunes. So maybe twelve diamonds for that, as a total of fourteen diamonds. And I do agree with the public apology. So I think that's what we we're going to do. Um, it did hurt his business, and and this is mostly this server is is mostly in a in an economy of businesses and shops and things. We even have our new shopping district. With that said, I think uh, that's a fair and just um, decision. So let's get back to it. Before All we right. start, can we note the sign that was above the room that that justice just came out of? I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate all of you. <laughs> After, can you please remove the door from your desk? Thank you. Uh, after some deliberation uh, with my YouTube audience, um, I have decided that uh, all charges will apply except for the trespassing charge. Uh, I believe that on this server, Trespassing isn't really as rigid of a law as the other implied ones are currently until we have a full-on constitution. Um, so trespassing isn't really going to apply unless property is messed with, such as opening a chest and, and looking into it. Um, now, uh, on behalf of the invasion of privacy aspect, uh, I do think that same incorporated is owed two diamonds uh, to Denki Dunes um, for that invasion of privacy. As far as the slander and uh, libel and, and all of that misrepresentation of the company, um, I believe should be a 12 diamond charge uh, since the company itself, uh, or the restaurant I believe, uh, was not too successful before this uh this whole debacle occurred uh and so didn't really lose too much in the process but still is a suffering business um and so the uh the slander against this suffering business uh determined that uh it it should still be a payment of of 12 diamonds i also agree with the um 
decision to have a public apology from uh, Same Incorporated and Shroomy, the representative of uh, Same Incorporated, um, so that uh, you know uh, it can appease the uh, the, the plaintiff here. Um, I I don't really think we need a, a payment towards the courtroom. Um, maybe a couple diamonds for uh, thinking that the courtroom or the uh, lawyers appointed here uh, don't have any legitimacy. Um, but that's just about it, and that is my decision. So, uh, how do you how do you end a court case? <laughs> um, it's so ordered. This is the last thing you said. So ordered. Yeah. All right. So ordered. Lit. All right. There you go. <laughs> Cool. And then the public apology. So I don't know if you'd like to record that now or later or whatever. But there are know. six uh, six individuals here. All right. So um, let everyone pay attention. Uh, I need witnesses, six witnesses paying attention to this public apology. All right. May go ahead. Uh, wait, hold on. Before, oh. uh, there's five of us. Uh, six is counting Shroomy. So uh, technically, no, we don't need six. Six is counting me. Yeah, I did. Did I not count him? You oh, didn't I didn't count. Yourself. You didn't count yourself, dog. I'm sorry. That stickman ninja is a pansy. All right, uh, I'm gonna need you to redo that. Thank you. I'm sorry <laughs> for the misrepresentation of the salamander of thank you dooms. And Mr. Man Ninja, here's your apology. That's not an apology. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. I'll take that though. <laughs> <laughs> he literally said, I'm sorry, earlier. So as you can see, justice was served, and we made some good things happen. Especially a couple diamonds for the court. Not too bad, not too shabby. But with that said, we're going to go and open some chaotic potatoes to end off the episode. Thank you guys so much for leaving a like on the last video. Uh, we're going to be opening 14 chaotic potatoes, so let's get to it. This might be a little difficult because I have my cat on my mouse right now. Um, but here we go. 14 chaotic potatoes. Let's do it. Ooh, okay, we have a die. And is that what I think it is? It's a broken elytra. Can you do this? Oh, that's cool. Lit. All right. Well, we've repaired ours, so let's roll this guy. Can you stop biting me? I'm kind of scared, actually. What is that one? What? Oh, I just got bad omen again. Oh, that is a uh, vex. That's a few vexes. Oh, yep, they're coming right for me. Okay, I probably should have put my armor on for this. Instead of... Okay, take off the Elytra. Put the armor on. Okay. Sick. There we go, one down. They're lagging a lot. There we go, two down. Where's the third one? Hello? Hello? Oh, there he is. What's up, bro? Oh. There's one. Come on. Dead. There we go. Okay. Oh! 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 Aha! Uh -huh. Well, that was tough. Uh, this is also a real creeper instead of a fake one. Look how bad this lag is. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, eight more. This is, I guess, a fanfic. Granisi's Forest. I don't know if I want to read this. Let's see what the other one is first. Oh, that's a diamond block. Yikes. Nope. I think that I can just plant these wherever. Alright. Denisi, the little fox that he is, was sneaking along in the forest, following closely behind his newest prey. Green Cat was unaware, 
unobserving of the little orange paws that padded behind him, mouth full of juicy berries waiting to taste the cat he followed. Oh my god. Oh no, is that Corona or is that hunger? That might be hunger. Hunger, yeah. Great, it just gave me hunger. Stew hungry, guys. All right, four more. Oh. That is a lot of spiders that I can't even hit yet. Okay, and that's a little C. Can I hit any of them? There we go. There we go, dead. Cold one, nice. We got a cold one with the boys. You gotta crack it open really quick. Let's look at the no effects for the boys. It's alright. Nice. Alright. Snacky time with Shroomy. I. Yep. Alright, yep. Shroomy just loves his food. That's, that's a summary of that. <laughs> that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, remember to leave a like so you can make me open more chaotic potatoes. Leave a comment with your feedback. Subscribe for more. If you like what you see here, have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.